how to start here because we got Keemstar playing games. It looks like he's trying to stream on Twitch again. That's his retirement. <sighs> um, let's see. God. Okay, I'm retiring. Full statement later today. I feel like he posted something. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna miss the internet. Goodbye. Uh, who's that upset? One more mean tweet, and I'm going to say just to make you mad. Okay. Internet, but I'm never retiring. Okay. I know a lot. Look, I know a lot of people think I'm trolling. A lot of people think it's just bait. That I mean, it probably is. Like, dude, it sounds like this guy is just gonna go play video games on Twitch for a while, and then he'll get bored, and he'll bring drama alert back in massive fashion, and that's what it seems like. I know he might not intend to do that. Um. But Keemstar seems to be all over the place. I don't think Keemstar is a. I don't think he knows to be how to be a person anymore. I think that he's just um, every thought, experience, every way that he moves, the way that he speaks. I think it's just um, it's a facade. He just tries to speak as who people think Keemstar is. So I'm retiring. Yeah, I'll host John Miller. I won't be so fucking annoying though. What's up, guys? Killer Keemstar. Should I do that, guys? <clears throat> I'll just do that. I'll do that. I'll be a drama alert guy now. But I am retiring. I know I've said a million times that I'm never leaving the internet, but I'm never retiring. Okay. But I really am retiring. I don't really um, care. But okay. I'm going to have a statement today on drama alert to talk about it briefly. Um, you know, things need to be explained, right? Like, I mean, honestly, I don't think that they do. If he just, he could have just stopped posting and I would have been totally fine. You know what I mean? Like, I'm obviously covering it, so I look like an idiot a little bit. But at the end of the day, like, who gives a shit? Like, it's a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, it, or it, I didn't, I'm not even say it's a good thing. I mean, he is a shitty person, right? But uh, it's like, it's just a thing. Like, I don't even want to say it's a good thing because I feel like that adds too much weight to how impactful he is. He's not really impactful. Like, it's just Keemstar, you know? It's like you're fucking. It's like your deadbeat forty-year-old brother to have like giving his opinions on things nobody asked for. That's really what it is about. Like why I'm leaving? Uh, yeah, I'm more worried he's gonna come back. Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna happen to the future of Drama Alert? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do in retirement? All that I, I know. So he's gonna go stream on Twitch. I guarantee it. I didn't even see it yet. I guarantee he's gonna like stream on Twitch. People are very happy and excited to see my ass go. Congrats to you. <laughs> um, Imagine you announce something horrible. He's like, guys, I have cancer. So I'm, I'm going to feel a little bit shitty about it then. I'll be like, oh, sorry, Keemstar. And I know others will be sad. Um, but, you know, 13 years. Uh, January next year will be 14 years. It's been a long time. I don't know, man. Like, I, my mom worked for her company for like 40 something years. You know what I mean? Like retirement, so it's it feels so easy. I did this for thirteen long years. Wow, it's not really that long. Like I know it's long, but it's not. Like I worked at the company that I used to work at. I did it for eleven years. That was a long time, sure, but it wasn't like retirement long. You know what I'm saying? Like you got isn't it? It's just crazy to be able to retire after only working for thirteen years. And uh, I started my YouTube career. When I was like 27, it's late to get into the game. So, um, yeah. Okay. Is he just, he's literally just staring at the camera. It's making me very uncomfortable. It's be a tough one. We'll get through <coughs> it. Not really that tough for anybody except for you. I mean, it makes me wonder, do people really like go to Keemstar's video and go, whoa, I can't wait to get this. In. He has like a good like ratio. That's incredible to me. There, there legitimately must be people who watch Keemstar, and like this is a decent like ratio, considering how uh, toxic he is. There must be like he really, oh, god damn it! What is up? Shh, we're not ready for that yet, Keemstar. I'm, I'll never be ready to hear your fucking mouth. But working on my retirement explanation video that's coming out tomorrow. Uh, making this video is way harder than I thought it would be. Thanks to all the fans, companies, industry peeps and fellow creators reaching out with love. <laughs> it sounded like Keemstar like needed a compliment, so he said he's he's going to end his own career. Will you still be on Twitter or are you leaving the entire internet? I'll still be on Twitter, but I will not be the host of Drama Alert in the near future. I'll explain everything in tomorrow's Drama Alert. I guess is he trying to get a new Drama Alert person? 
Um, is that what he's trying to do? Is he trying to get like another person in on it? Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Maybe he's trying to get another coast for drama alert, and this way he can still make some passive income. Ooh. Oh, oh, Trisha Paytas is the new star of uh, Drama Alert. Wow. I wonder who would be a good Drama Alert star. You know what I mean? Like who? Like anybody that matters. This is okay. I guess this is just him pretending to be old. Leafy. <laughs> I think drama alert would be removed, but that sounds like a pretty comparable comparable person. WTI, new PC. I got a new PC. I don't care. Oh, okay. So then I actually read this tweet before. Um. Oh, they must have went private. So or something. So this okay. <laughs> so Keemstar said, "Katie, the most attention you ever get." Is when you got sued for stalking slash doxing Tati Wetsbrook. If my channel is dying, pulling five hundred thousand views, what do we call your channel that it can only pull fifty thousand views when you milk the tragic death of victims? Go get, go drive drunk again, loser. Jesus, I remember she said that. Who cares? And that Keemstar is just dying away, which might be true. But I did take a look at this person really quick, and I was like, you know, like listen, there's plenty of reasons to hate Keemstar. I don't like fundamentally being like, oh, your views are down. Like it's just like a, it's kind of a dumb brain dead argument. You know, that's just the nature of the of the beast that we, we all exist in. But like, yeah, I noticed there were a lot of videos about um about the situation with Gabby uh, Petito. And I don't know. I talked about it a couple times. It feels a little uncomfortable to talk about this in this sensationalized, dramatized fashion. Because this is a real fucking event. This isn't like, oh, Shane Dawson's back, or oh, somebody farted and like shit their pants. Like this isn't, you know what I mean? Like this is a real event. And so I talked about it. Um, but it just seems like they're like I talked about it in in the context of like there are tw TikTok fucking psychics who think that like that they that they're actually guessing what's going on. So, um, you know. Okay, I guess it's time he re-released the new video. I quit. Woo! I'm excited. Whoa! All right, let's watch this. Drama alert, Nate. What's the worst part about this is gonna be is that we're it's gonna be like something irrelevant for like the first ten minutes of this video. It's not even gonna be an I'm quitting. It's like this is a it's it's fucking clickbait for the first bit of it. This is gonna be annoying as fuck. That's that's the problem. I'm All right. What is up, Drama Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Oh, God. And I quit. <laughs> That's right. Yesterday, I announced my retirement. It's been almost 14 years. In January, it'll be 14 years that I have been a YouTuber. I started being a YouTuber uh, at age 27, so had a little bit of a late start. And quite frankly, cool. um, I'm not having fun anymore. You know, I started off my YouTube career as a... <laughs> Isn't it cool to be able to quit a job because you're not enjoying... Like, I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> it's, I wish. I wish you could just quit for not having fun anymore. <laughs> as a gaming troll making trolling videos all this the way back in uh, 2009. Why is this video so low? I feel like um, every other video is screaming. DMs, doxing them. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, anyway. A lot of trash talk, a lot of entertainment. And when I moved into doing drama alert, right, mm -hmm. you know, it was the same thing. You know, people were talking trash, you know, we're covering the tweets back and forth and it was fun. A lot of fun drama. But recently things have changed quite a bit. And I, it started around the time of the pandemic is when things got pretty bad. You know, there was a shift in the culture where cancel culture was became like this overpowering powering thing. And people went after YouTuber sponsors, you know, like really trying to just ruin them financially. And that caused everyone to stop speaking their mind, right? That that caused everyone to be a walking, talking commercial, all right? You got guys like Bryce Hall, who I guess is edgy. He doesn't really seem that edgy to me. Uh, but then you have Noah Beck coming out saying, I don't want to make videos. I'm surprised this is actually about his retirement. I stand corrected. Bryce Hall, because I feel like it might hurt our brand deals. That's what we're dealing with. So... Who is Noah Beck? Well, you don't know. This guy's a robot. <laughs> what, what does Noah Beck think about anything? You don't know. Like, the guy's a robot. He's a walking, talking commercial. He's not a real person. He's fake. <laughs> you know, because brands. <laughs> He's got to protect those brand deals. But it, this isn't to single out Noah Beck. This is... 
He's done this numerous times before, more than a handful of retirement announcements, of course. Everywhere, right? This is all YouTubers. This is all influencers, well, most of them. Uh, so what happens is when nobody speaks their mind and everyone's a commercial, uh, there's not really that much entertainment, you know? I remember him complaining on, like, his mom's basement podcast. I was watching it for, like, the Trisha Paytas stuff or something. And he was complaining that the only thing that people really happens now is, like, sexual assault. And I mentioned this in another video. But I feel like, like, listen, I understand why not everybody would want to cover sexual assault stuff, but I also feel like it's very important because there seems to be a fucking epidemic, if I don't know if that's the correct word, of large content creators abusing their platform to talk to, like, children. And so I feel like maybe you should start talking about that. Maybe bring it up more. Maybe talk about all the times when there's, like, serious allegations. Uh, and do it in a non-sensationalized way, so a way that, that that you know you don't have to be like, oh, he definitely did it, or she definitely did. It, although it seems to be men mostly, you know, like Jakishi is an example. Absolutely, like that's an example of, like, and he admitted it, so it's not even like a speculative thing. Uh, but he seems to say, I think he's talked about it sometimes, but he tends to stay away from them. So, entertainment. In entertainment, uh, you need drama. You know, think of the Avengers without drama. Think of the Avengers without a bad guy, right? You need some bad. Well, I mean, like we, I, I think we preferably there would be no drama. Like we need drama. I'm, <laughs> I don't know that we do, but okay. You need some battles. You need, you need, you need conflict, right? That's a core part of entertainment. Not all entertainment, but in general, entertainment, and that just doesn't happen anymore with uh, the cancel culture stuff, with the ripping sponsors away and attacking a YouTuber sponsor. It used to be this huge no-no. If you did that, like, you were the one that got canceled. It seems like a shot at Ethan. I'm trying to, like, figure it out because I think cancel culture is an issue. There definitely is an issue with people trying to cancel people. Um, But, like, what does Keemstar want to hear? Because also a lot of the things that he's covered were pretty fucked up. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe key, well, cancel culture definitely is a problem, but then maybe also, I mean, that's the thing. Maybe, but maybe also people have become less shitty, you know, canceled. Now it's acceptable. Now it's like normal thing. Like if someone gets in trouble, let's email the sponsor. Like that's a normal thing. I don't know how that happened. I mean, it threatens the entire entertainment you know, community or whatever that we, I mean, for what, for like what you do, like, yeah, we can admit that it was shitty for Ethan to try to go after his sponsors. I mean, I don't think Keemstar is a good person. I don't, but from what I've seen as horrible as he is. And I, I know he's like, he's done like he's promoted, he's exuded rape apologist rhetoric. And he had, he did contribute to etiquette taking his life. And I know people are always like, no, Papa, no. Yes. Okay. And he was an adult over 30 that should have been able to identify when somebody had a mental issue and should not have been like, why don't you just jump off of a, a bridge? And then, you know, what happened? Or jump off a building. Um, but, like, the people that I've seen lose sponsors, like James Charles, like, oh, you should take away his sponsorship. Yeah, you know? Like, what else has been going on? I don't really know. And maybe people are just being better, or maybe they're walking the line better. Maybe people are less interested in YouTube. I don't really know. I don't know. We've built here, and that's another thing. Back in the day, you know, when we talked about the community. But generally speaking, also back in the day, there was a back in the day when Keemstar blew up. That was a time on YouTube where, like, it was where it was really edgy, where like really horrible, fucked up shit was was palatable, like bullying and racism. Where where a, a, YouTube would be okay with it being on their platform. They would give voices to like very like racist, bigoted uh, people. They could build and grow uh, channels. Uh, that doesn't exist because YouTube's like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't allow that. And YouTube only did it because people were demanding that they didn't platform fucking bullies. Like honestly, like that's the reason why Leafy doesn't exist because he would just flat out bully people. You know, I know some of you guys like him, but I mean, let's, let's be honest. Like, that's the reason. Um, and people can't build their platforms being super edgy and toxic anymore. And so, like, yeah, there's going to be less drama because we're not platforming shitty people, honestly, or people who have shitty content. And maybe that's what makes you feel better about it. But, you know, it's honestly, it's true. You know, this isn't the old days where you could just be a total douchebag fuck and, you know, have a, a platform. Felt like we knew everyone. Like, it was a... It was a, it was an actual community. The community doesn't exist anymore. It's like so big and so spread. You know, I, I think back of uh, stories. Um, what was the name of those guys? The 
These guys, I'll find it in editing. Remember, they got canceled for something everybody talked about. Everybody. Now a story will happen, and only that group of fans or care about that story. You know, we're not knit together like we used to be. And part of the problem. Well, part of this is because YouTube became very big. Um, YouTube blew up. So, of course, there's going to be more, like, what do you want to call them, like hive minds? I don't know what, how would you would want to say that, but I think you understand what I'm saying. Problem is we don't have a, a, a flourishing commentary community, right? We used to have a commentary community where everybody was talking about the same thing and that commentary community has disappeared and they're all making long form like documentaries because the longer videos, the more watch time, the more they'll get promoted in the algorithm and blah, 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 blah. So you're left with uh, the T channels and the T channels have no credibility, caught lying and bullying and harassing. I mean, he's not wrong. I, yeah, he's not wrong about that. T channels are not great, honestly. Um, like T channels will generally beat a point to death and they don't have they don't offer like a particular like a respectable perspective they all seem to have some kind of hidden motive and they seem to be very biased and even a lot of times c channels seem to even go after like bad people but they it's one of those things where it's okay to be shitty when you talk about a shitty person like honestly it's that's one of the things that happens like well they're a shitty person so i could be like a super big bully and i'm gonna say honestly like i think i i think that i've been part of that as well and i, I i'm trying to become a better content creator but um you know, T channels don't have any credibility. If somebody says sounds like Ethan, like, listen, you might not like Ethan, but I'm going to say that generally speaking, Ethan is a credible person. Like everybody fucks up, but Ethan, I'd say is a, is a fairly credible person. I, I wouldn't classify Ethan or categorize him with T channels. Like Ethan, everybody makes mistakes. There's a difference between making a genuine mistake and then being like constantly chasing drama, like forcing drama. So I guess I have to give Keemstar a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Because it seems like he does talk about like a, a drama, obviously, but it doesn't seem like. Well, actually, I can't even say that. I'm a fucking idiot. I was about to say he doesn't create it. He literally created drama with 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 fucking uh, with with um, Call Me Carson. So you know what? I'm an asshole. I'm wrong. Keemstar is a fucking scum loser who does the same shit. Um, I mean, he's basically just a T channel. But I guess he doesn't like being called a T channel because he's a man. I don't. And he thinks that it's it's invalidating of his masculinity, or he just takes himself too seriously, which is also probably true. Seeing uh, YouTubers uh, nonstop, but there's so many of them that they kind of control the narrative. It's just a mess. It's a giant mess. All right, it's just a, a giant mess of not fun. I think back of the time where there were diss tracks, right, and people were making diss tracks back and forth. And that was fun. That sounds really cringy. It's we crunch. don't have that anymore. You know, if I go back and I look at, um, you know, we have Drumler DM where you guys can tip us off on news and we look through that and it's like, you're trying to me too every single YouTuber for something, right? And a lot of them are guilty and need to be called out. Don't get me wrong. Uh, <laughs> hey, you guys are just trying to call out YouTubers for uh, sexual, assault, sexual assault. A lot of them need to be called out, but uh, but like, how, how, do you how do you defend this perspective already? <laughs> but like, that's the only thing anyone cares about anymore. It's like, there's no, where is the fun, you know? What? Like, I understand what he's saying, because sexual assault is a very heavy topic, and he probably shouldn't really be covering it because he's shitty, but it would be nice if he educated himself. But, I mean, that's something that needs to be called out. That's a big deal, is that the big like big content creators are weaponizing their platform to talk to underage people. It's a big deal, or sexually assaulting people. There's not much fun left in the community from the perspective of drama. It's always something to pull on the emotions of the audience, of the viewers, get them emotionally angry so they form a mob and then use them to attack someone. Like, that's what I see. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't disagree with that. Nonstop. And, uh, it's like, call, it's what you call like priming your audience. So you prime your audience with like a bunch of rhetorical bullshit and then you use that audience to weaponize against somebody else. Like, sure. Um, like, the T communities are very toxic. It's very true sad it's pathetic it's not fun and you know what's really interesting and like my, my time on tiktok like i was very actively against my my platform or my commenters i would be like hey this isn't right like i would try to be them do my best to call shitty behavior out and you can't you can't like stop shitty behavior 100 percent, but you can call it out and tell your shitty supporters that like you don't support their behavior never seen that on t channels ever never seen it another thing because i've been a youtuber for such a long time is you know Back in the day, all right, I had a fan base that subscribed to my channel and they would go to their sub box and be like, oh, a drama video and go watch it, right? Yeah. But then YouTube changed some things, right? They uh, said, well, you got to turn the bell on, right? You got to turn this notification bell on if you want notifications for that channel. Oh, okay. All right. So we started telling people to turn the notifications on. 
Then they added another layer. Well, if you want all notifications, you got to select the all button. Uh, okay, YouTube. All right. All right. So that was their third, you know, stage or whatever of trying to separate the creator from their fan base. I, I guess I guess that's why people do that all the time. It's follow. I, I don't think I've ever said follow, do the bell. I don't. Maybe I did. Who cares? Uh, I feel like YouTube blew up and then it would. So here's my thing. It makes sense to me why they would implement that because they probably didn't want people getting spam message like every notification for every video. Uh, because there was a lot of people. Um, yeah. But okay. It's right. Make the fans go through three. So you got to sub, you got to turn on the bell, and you got to select always, right? Okay. Let's just see how hard that is. That's what we're complaining about. <laughs> That's it? That's what we're complaining about? Is that what we're complaining about here? Like, I, do you see how fast I did that? Like, oh no. Here, I'll do it again for you, Keemstar. Okay. Hey guys, do that. Go go in here, sub, hit the bell, and hit all. I know it takes a lot of energy and effort to do this, and it, it definitely drives a massive wedge between you and your community. But, um, you know, that 45 minutes of effort really helps me a lot. It's fucking two seconds, if that. Then they started pushing recommendeds, all right? Now, when I go to YouTube.com, I get recommended videos that I want to actually see. And so somebody said Keemstar would go around on streams getting people riled up to attack people. He is the main reason why the Pyrocynical shows his face as Keemstar docks him. Oh, really? Isn't Pyrocynical kind of a sus, though? But, uh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. He's gotten people docked before, no? And, you know, I think the recommended thing is awesome, right? I use it all the time. The problem is, all right? It doesn't work. Just check in my channel every day, guys. That's all you're going to have to do. <laughs> The people I sub to, the, the, the people that I made a, you know, a, a decision, a conscious decision in my head. I want to watch this person. I don't see their videos anymore because YouTube is sending me the videos. You recommend it. Look at all these thumbnails. Look at all this other stuff that you're interested in. And that causes me to be distracted and click on a video that I wouldn't have normally watched because YouTube is feeding me. So, But it's worse. So their algorithm is generally designed to make you watch more. So... Um, you know, the benefit to them is the benefit for them is you're watching more content. The benefit for you is you get more content to watch, right? So that's generally how you would say that. So you're you're complaining that you don't see the videos from your other people. Um <clears throat> and I get it, but like, you know, let's see if we went to YouTube. I feel like they're here. Hey, look at all the people that I'm subscribed to. Oh, there's a new video. I know I subscribed to Ben. He's not that bad of a guy. He's just a little I don't really agree with him on a lot of shit. You know, look, there's a new video. Like, if I actually gave a shit and I wanted to watch all these people videos, I could look at them. I do my, I do, I do want to watch this. I never watch this. I don't know why it says I have a red bar. I did watch that. Anyway, you get my point. You know, you get my point. You could, you could go, you could do, you could look at this sidebar and go, okay, who do I want to watch? Okay, well, I, have, I follow a lot of people. What the fuck is wrong with me? Whatever. Anyway, you get my point. So the viewers have lost control on who they watch and who they sub to. And YouTube has full control, you know, of what you viewers are watching. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you guys had to manually go type in drum alert to watch a video? You know, I wonder if Keemstar uploads. Always, because I never watch your content unless I'm going to cover it for something. Like drum alert, you know. So it's a lot. All right. I don't really, my channel doesn't really get thrown into recommended. It doesn't get recommended to people. There's a lot. All right. But like this is one of those things. Maybe your your content just sucks, or maybe people just don't like your content that much as and as much as they used to. I feel like that's a big problem because you see, I see a lot of big creators complain about their traction in this really weird way, like especially low effort channels like Keemstar. And like I'm a low effort channel myself. Like let's not. I'm not gonna sit here and be like I do so much. I I sit down. And I go through information on stream. Uh, you know, a lot of times I'll make videos where I'm like educating myself on the topic, and that's what the that's what the stream is. I stream it and then I put it up on on YouTube. But like maybe you're just not making content that people care about right now. Maybe people don't care, and maybe part of that's because the drama shits they're dying. I don't really know. But like, I feel like a lot of people they, they get on TikTok. It's I got a shadow banned. My daddy of five videos hidden on is hidden on this whatever for you page or whatever. Yeah, probably because it's like a, that's a sensitive topic. Whatever it is, what it is, man. Uh, that is on my plate that I'm just badly makes with. sense because the views were low on that video. Um. 
but like okay but i don't think that keemstar's videos are getting pulled from that because because they're i mean maybe maybe they're suppressing that video but i feel like maybe people just aren't super interested in it and maybe people just aren't super interested in my that my video i don't really know anyway, over the last on. uh i would say two years i've been actively looking for uh my replacement because i just need to do other things i got yeah, other things going yeah, on yeah, you yeah, know i'm involved yeah. in the boxing world uh i want to get into uh documentary stuff i want to what did what you know i'm involved in the boxing world uh i want to oh, i thought he was saying that he wanted to get involved in the boxing world i was like why get into uh documentary stuff i want to leave the house all right you know when you work at drumbler you're kind of stuck here right something some crazy thing goes on i gotta make a video right i don't i don't get to plan videos i don't get to schedule stuff no i dude these videos are 12 minutes long what are you talking about you can go out of the house i don't know what the fuck he's talking about you could what do you he's acting like he literally can't leave the house because there might be a hot a hot story that forces him to immediately respond like you you couldn't wait the the the, the 15 minutes takes you to get home from the fucking grocery store like god forbid I mean, like, what are you talking about? You post like once a week, maybe, maybe twice a week, maybe once a month. And you're acting like you have to have like be readily accessible to be home. Like what? I am on call 24 seven. There's no off time. If something goes down, I got to rush here and make a video to let you guys know about it to keep you in the loop. It's not that important. It's not that important. What are you talking about? Like, what the fuck is he talking about? He's acting like he works like he's like a fucking working 60 hours. Or I can't leave the house. I can't go anywhere. Can't go to, on a vacation with my kid. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Just fucking what? He starts out of his mind. It's not that serious, dude. You could do it. And you, you know what else, too? You could do this from anywhere. If you went on vacation for a week somewhere and God forbid you needed to make a video that bad where you had to cover something you could literally pull out a fucking laptop with a webcam on it and you could just film anywhere it doesn't matter you could just pack a suitcase with your dumb fake fucking popcorn and you could make this from anywhere like you really could it's not that hard to do it's just fucking insane um and you know for after doing this for such a long time, you know, it's like, okay, I want to leave the house. I want to go on vacation. Uh, Bro, I he's travel. so full of shit. Um, he's just so full of shit. This is so dumb. It's like a, like a rich person. This is like a rich person problems. This is ridiculous. I can't leave the house. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what? You know, I want to uh, spend more time with my family and stuff like that. So it's a lot of different things. Why am I retiring is a lot of different things. Now, I'm planning on retiring and leaving for good. As the host of Drum Alert, uh -huh. on my 40th birthday, March 8th, okay? And the reason why I want... He's not even retiring for, like, six months. This is ridiculous. What is it? Like, I find it weird, because, like, at a normal job, you have to put in, like, a, usually I think it is a six-month notice. But this motherfucker is like, hey, I'm going to be the, on my 40th birthday in March. Maybe you could have announced this around March. It would have been pretty good. Fortunately, it'll be my 32nd birthday in March. And so I, I expect I will be the new host of Drama Alert, of course. Um, <laughs> but then I can't leave the house anymore because something might happen and I might have to be home for it. Oh, shit. I want to announce my retirement now <laughs> is so I can find my replacement. All right. Someone's got to come up here and keep you in the loop. Well, he's doing it because he wants a video because he hasn't released one like in a while. I, well, he might have released one like yesterday. So, but I, he is, is. I remember him talking about how he felt like he couldn't release videos that often. Because of everything, uh, because there's not a lot going on, but he's doing it because he wants a video to make money on. I mean, come on, you like what? Like in all honesty, you needed to announce it to find somebody. You couldn't have like secretly like asked like, "Hey, this person, would you be interested in drama alert?" I'm like, come on. And it's been really hard looking for that replacement. I haven't found anyone even remotely close. I mean, there's a lot of responsibilities. I mean, you have to double check the news that you're about to talk about. You have to pick the stories. You have to make your video. You have to edit your video. You have to upload your video. You have to make your thumbnail or, or whatever. And uh, it's not that hard to do. I feel like like this, like this, it's not like these are really in-depth stories. You're like, oh, my God, James Charles. And you already told you people that like the information comes to you. Didn't he say he had a team? Didn't this motherfucker say that he had an entire team of people that helps him? And now all of a sudden you have to do everything by yourself. That seems a little bit uh, suspicious that he said that he couldn't. I remember him using like saying things like, oh, I have a team that does X, Y and Z. Um, seems a little suspicious. But all of a sudden now you do everything you're by yourself. Mm. I feel like nobody would do drama alert. Who's going to do drama alert and actually give a shit about it? Like, why would you, why would you do it? Because I'm assuming if you did drama alert, then you can't do anything else. 
would I do drama alert? Honestly, I don't think I would ever know. Because like you'd, I probably wouldn't be able to make my own content. I like doing my content the way that I want. You know, like maybe I'll do it for. Uh, I wouldn't do it. I'm not gonna get ass anyway. Like let's let's not pretend that I'm a big creator in any capacity, and I would actually do it. Um, Papa, you're slow. He only that only happens when he's under fire. <laughs> referring to the the people that do it for him. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you're right. Sorry, only when he's under fire does he have a team to press responsibility off of himself and on too. You're right. Uh, you have to tag the video. You know, it's a lot of responsibility. Tag the video? What? What is happening? Your thumbnail or, or whatever, and uh, you have to tag the video. You know, you have to tag the video. How hard is this to you? What these these thumb these thumbnails are just like Googled pictures. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you just cut out pictures of three people and put banned and busted behind it. This thumbnail would probably take about 10 minutes to make. Once every week? Oh, that's a lot of work. I feel like it's not that much work. Oh, it's a lot of You could do this from your phone. For someone to do. And not the it, thumbnails, but the research part. You know, when you pay really, really well, you know. Who, who wants to be on call 24-7, right? Now, I know a lot of people say me, 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 but you'll see how challenging this actually is. But more than that, you got to find someone that's entertaining. But also, on top of that, I got to find someone that you guys like, right? You know, the we don't even like you, Keemstar. The fuck are you talking about? They can find someone that we like. One comment when you know I talk about me retiring or me leaving drama or no longer hosting drama. The number one comment is, "Oh, just like Ray William Johnson. Remember when Ray William Johnson had someone else on his show? The show died. And da, da da da. It's gonna be the same thing." Like, I, I get it. I get it. Probably, yes. But we have now until March to find someone you like, all right? And I've had people cover for me on Drama before that you guys appreciated and you guys liked and you guys enjoyed. Uh, so I think it's very possible that we, um, you know, find someone that you like. You know, maybe it's multiple mm. people hosting. I don't know. But if you are interested in hosting on Drum Alert, uh, I need you to apply. It's very simple. Sure, sure. Let's uh, do it. Make your own Drum Alert video, all right? Uh, there are assets uh, in the description that you can use, like the intro or whatever. Uh, should, I, <laughs> should I? Should I? Should I make my own? Uh, should I make my own? My, my own? My audition for Drama Alert? Should I make my own Drama Alert episode? <laughs> Where's the? Where are the assets? Maybe I should do that, <laughs> just as a fucking joke. <laughs> My it would call my audition for drama alert. That's not a bad idea. Okay, I'll do my kill my Keemstar impression. I'll have to, but then I have to edit the video myself, guys. You don't understand. This would be so difficult to do. On drama alert video, upload it to YouTube. Put the hashtag drama drama alert uh, in the title. Okay. This is my application for drama alert. Something like that. Okay. We'll see it. We'll come across it. We'll be checking. I have a whole team of people that'll be checking this every day. Um. And we'll look for, you know, people that we feel are entertaining that, that could really pull this off. Uh, by the way, when you're doing your application, you don't need real stories. Just make something up uh, gotcha. you know, or use real stories. Do what you want. Big story you got. Uh, but obviously, energetic, entertaining. You know, there's a lot. This is this is not an easy job. We'll pay you well, but it's not an easy job. Uh, so we got to see who's got it. And uh, we'll test some of those people out uh, right here on the channel between now and March. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll read comments and see what you guys think. And... You know, hopefully we'll find a good replacement for me, but I got some other stuff I got to do. I got some other big things that I want to do. And um, this show that I love. He's so just going to let you do go to Disney and stream on Twitch. Big things, guys. Come on, bro. Uh, I love hosting this show um, has become kind of a prison. <laughs> Everything has a start and everything has an end. And for me being the daily 24 seven host here on drum alert, oh, uh, that insane. end has come. What do, you, what do you mean? Daily 24? What do you do? What do you do? Do 12 minutes once a week, Keemstar? Holy fuck. I wanna and like, I know you have to edit, but like the edits are just stop starts. Pick up, stop, start. Oh, let me throw a picture up at the corner. It's not that it's not super difficult to do this. Thank you guys for sticking with me for all these 14 years in January. 14 years. It's insane. I want to thank uh, you guys for sticking with me, watching the show, supporting the show. Uh, but more importantly, I just want to thank you for... Um, for letting me keep you in the loop. See you guys. Oh, he almost cried. So sad. <laughs> that was so fucking dumb. This guy acts like this job is so hard. He didn't even edit it out. There's like thir there's like fucking 30 seconds of just, well, it's more like 10 seconds of just black. What are you doing, dude? Oh, maybe he's, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's supporting Black Lives Matter. I don't really know. But either way, like, I, this is ridiculous.
Is that what I need to do now? Do I have to make my own? Uh, do I have to make my own audition for the for Keemstar? Now, 